All right there, everyone. Um, welcome. So today we're just going to, me and Aaron are going to be looking into the history of the one, the only Callum Adams, Callum's Corner. Um, he's one of our favourite YouTubers, but he's got a very bizarre weird past. So we're just going to go into that a little bit today. Yeah. Um, so let's start with 2016. Aaron, you were his 60th subscriber. What was the content like in your opinion? Um, well, back in the day, it was mostly just re-uploads from Facebook. There was a couple of odd videos. Like, um, I don't know if you remember the ones. It was like, this is just for my small YouTube fan base. All 30 I don't of remember. you. He used, to, <laughs> he, he used to just say, like, I've only got, like, 30 subs on here. So um, th this is where I'll come for, like, my small teachings and stuff. And, yeah. and then, like, obviously, as years went on, he switched from, like, YouTube being a small thing to his big thing. But it was, it was a bit weird back in the day. Um, yeah, it was, it was just a really weird time for both YouTube and Callum's Corner because he was just like talking about mooning everyone and showing everyone these brown eye and stuff. I thought that was a bit lighter, wasn't it? No, or he was, was he saying that at first. He was doing stuff before the um, before the actual like you know the my head doesn't look like a sodding tic tac. Tic -tac so he was saying he was going to go on about mooning people. Did he say about mooning Gareth or Michelle? <laughs> no, he, he meant he. Um, oh, what, what did he say? He was basically going on about people who, because that's when small amounts of people started ganging up on him and calling him Tic Tac, like before the oh, incident. Because okay. it happened a few months before, um, was it August that video came out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was around March he started getting loads of people calling him Tic Tac and he did like live streams and people. No, 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 hold on, hold on. The Callum's Corner, the Tic Tac video was July actually, because I remember someone putting on Facebook recently. It's, um, oh, yeah, to... yeah, I, I shared that actually. Oh, oh yeah. cool. Um, Let's make it look a bit more professional. There we go. But yeah, um, so he was doing it months before the actual like big video came out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I can't remember what I was going to say. No, oh, his Facebook days. Yeah, it was, um, sorry, YouTube days. Right at the start, it was just like reuploads, pretty much. Mhm. Mm Fair dues. So he started off very timid, didn't he? He was like, because at first I thought, as this dude got like serious issues, but uh, for a while I thought he could be joking. Because obviously, the first big video we all watched was. Oh no. Hey, up. And welcome to Callum's Corner. This video is for. It was. I can't remember exactly what he said. I can't believe I'm having a brain fart now and forgetting oh, he, what he said he, in he the said, TikTok video. He said, what was it? Right. I, I, I've had to tell a few of you um, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, no, no, I remember. I've had to say this a few times now, but this is the final time I will say this. Shut up about my head. It is normal. It is a nice head. It does not look like a sodden tic-tac. And then you think to yourself, oh, fair enough, mate, you know, whatever. But then he starts going on about kittens and puppy dogs and you think, is he, is he all right? Or is this like a joke or like... But it, it was one of the funniest things I'd ever watched on YouTube. I never laughed so much, to be honest. I'd, um, I was showing it to people. I was like, look at this bloke. Even one of my grandparents found it hilarious the first time they watched it. They were like really laughing. Most people just thought it was weird. And they thought, what is wrong with this bloke? You know, um, I was always rooting for him, for him since day one, though. You know, I really thought he was a good bloke. I really thought he was cool. He just wanted to, he wanted to help people with his knowledge and his rage videos were amazing. So, but let's talk about a little bit before that, uh, some of his weird videos that he's unlisted. Oh, yeah. He, I have watched a few weird ones when he gives advice, but the weirdest, he hasn't put this one unlisted. I'll, I'll go to one of the unlisted ones you show me, which was like on an archive channel. But um, it was the, um, when he said, the first one I want to talk about is when he got bullied and he's like, hey, oh, and welcome to Callum's Corner. Oh, and he's in like a black like room. It's just all dark. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, like yeah. His, just like his eyes, you can see. Yeah, and then he's like, now I'm talking about a horrible experience when I got bullied. Someone slap my boobs and call it slap me across the chest call it tit slap and it's like bloody hell this is a little bit odd and then um <laughs> and then he said I, I sprayed what was it didn't he like spray oh. something on his no someone sprayed something on the dude who was slapping his boobs. oh yeah he, he, he brought in conditioner into the school yeah like, and then he went in and said oh, i can't remember he said was it like uh, toby's I can't remember now. Toby's been wanking in the toilet. Oh, yeah. That was it. Yeah. Or spunk on his hand or whatever. And then he said, no, I haven't got spunk. I haven't got spunk. And then they, then they slapped him and then he went on the floor. Then Callum went <laughs> and farted on his face. Well, in his face. Sorry, he didn't actually sit on him. Um, bit weird. 
But there you go, kind of funny, I suppose. Um, decent way to get revenge, I suppose. Um, but yeah, yeah. But the the other really weird one was when he was like, "Hey up, and uh, welcome to Callum's Corner." So my mum's naked in the chimney. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Like he locked oh, his yeah. mum in the house for a week. He got rid of the video, and it's so weird. You have to. That had to be a joke. That had to just be a weird, edgy joke because it can't be possible. It, he couldn't have locked his mum in the house for a week, then found her naked in the chimney. And if he did, he'd be raging about it. He'd be going like, "My mum was naked in the chimney." Ah, ah, ah. You know, he'd be going mental about it. He wouldn't be like so chilled out about it because it's just bizarre. Yeah, because I know he said, I mean, I, I wanted to bring this up later, but that does sort of lend a lot of, um, is it credence? I don't know the correct term, whatever. But it does like show that potentially he could have been a bit of a character back in the day. Because yeah, yeah. him locking his mom in the house with one of those feeders you give to cats, mm-hmm. and he put trail mix in it, and then he left and like locked her in. Like, who, who does that? Why? I know, it's so weird, man. It's like... I don't, I don't know. know what it's hard to make heads or tails of him sometimes, you know. I mean, I don't know, like jump around a lot, but this was in the Facebook days as well. He said um, he was at a festival. I, remember, I think it was the Isle of Wight festival, and he mm-hmm. said he was going around taking like drugs off kids. But then he said he was going to go and do them. But then in other videos, he says he's never done any. Yeah, yeah, it's really bizarre. But like this one video, he's talking about his mates, and he's like. I am. Um, they wanted me to do some weed again. And I said, no, I'm not doing it. Those days are over. But then he's then later on, he's doing a blaze Q and I with Drew Sherry, And I swear he's done two of them. And it's like, you keep contradicting yourself constantly, mate. It's such a weird history. I know in that old Facebook video, he said he, he took acid off kids and then in a later vi- and he said he was going to go and take it. But then in later videos, he said, I've never done anything apart from, was it, did he say he's done cocaine, but he ended up in the river or something? He said he ended up falling in like Bristol River or something. <laughs> and he said that he, he took like a few of his mates to calm him down. It was something really weird. He ended up falling in the bloody harbour. I think he said because he was convinced he could swim out to France. It was something really weird. But um, yeah. Absolutely mental. Um, but yeah. He made a video proving he could crush peanut, peanut M&Ms, which was really bizarre. That made no sense. The problem is with doing stuff like that, sure, he can crush the peanut M&Ms and whatever, but it's like you're letting these people get to you too much. And if this was a joke, he would have made a few silly videos, but then not let it get to him. But maybe it's all part of the act. Maybe him getting annoyed is like part of him. Because I'm a bit, I'm very, I'm just trying to play devil's advocate with it and be on the fence with whether it's an act or not. Personally, I don't think it is. And if it is, it's like the best act ever. But obviously there are things to make you think, yeah, he's just acting. It's just a piss take. Um, do you want to talk about his early self-defense vids? Because they were weird. He was like in his boxers or whatever, or like really short shorts. And he was like, oh, so you, you keep them down like this. And you, then you elbow them. And then there was another one, self-defense for weaker people, where he, he like waddles around like this really slow. Then he goes, boom. Then he goes, boom. Like that. And it's like... Are you joking? This isn't going to help anyone, is it? But it was one of the funniest things ever. Self-defense for weaker people. I mean... My favourite, can I just say, my favourite is when he's, like, dancing around the table like this with the um, can of beans, and he goes, boom, boom! Then he goes, Nika, boom! And it's like... And then people message him saying... They, they, haven't, they probably haven't done this in real life, but it's a load of rubbish. But they, they said, Callum, I tried your self-defense, and it didn't work. And, it's, and then he made more self-defense, and it's like... Oh. I mean, personally, I, I just think those self-defense videos. I think he's just playing a character in them, definitely. Yeah, because, it has to be a joke. I mean, I know there's. I'm, I'm not trying to get off top here, but there are obviously stuff you can do at home, like you know, fitness-wise. But mm-hmm. running around with a can of baked beans. He said everywhere you go, he said go to a nightclub with a can of baked beans. <laughs> if something kicks off, you'll you'll have a weapon. It's like who? Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, personally, I think that his early ones. He might have just been having a bit of a laugh, you know, just showing off. Yeah, a bit. yeah. I think yeah. current day, he's more of who he really is, but he does just show the best parts of his life, I guess. Yeah, but he does talk about the bad parts. Obviously, if someone interrupts a video, you know, he doesn't, he probably wouldn't put that on camera and all that. Um, it just seems like he's had a really big history of saying, this will happen, this will happen, and then nothing happens for ages or it never happens. Like he went on about doing. Uh, crew coming in doing a documentary and then that never happened and then months and months later he said he was going to do a documentary and then it still never happened 
And it's just really, really confusing and weird, to be honest. It's like, I reckon his family didn't want to be on camera. Because remember, he had to get rid of that video where um, his mom was, um, what you call it? Um, his mom, he had a picture of him and his mom when oh. he was a kid. And his mom was like, I don't want this on Callum. And he had to get rid oh, of it. He was, he was doing his story of his life or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I, I mean, I did hear something on a live stream about that documentary. Because allegedly he said, oh, it's all like his sister's Amy's fault. Because she didn't turn up. And then the company ran out of like production money. So he's been uh, trying to get the money together to buy it back. But he's been doing it for like three years. So, <laughs> yeah. Just... Yeah, exactly. It's ridiculous. He's been talking about this since 2017. It's like, he he doesn't really need his sister in it. He could easily do it by himself. Tom Stockdale, maybe have his mom, maybe have the sister he does like, maybe do a cheeky interview, interview with Eddie, where Eddie goes into detail with his thoughts and feelings on being, made, being put in disturbing YTPs. I mean, no. I was I was going to bring it up towards the end, but we do need to mention the whole Eddie saga, you know, the whole... Cause it's disturbing, seen, it's horrible. I remember watching the first video where he went... To, I don't want to spoil it, but there's a video where he went to go and see Eddie get born, and obviously it's up to current day. Mm. So, so uh, do you want to talk about that? I didn't that even realise that existed. I didn't realise there was a video when he went to see Eddie be born. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a bit of a weird one. I'll have to mention it at the end, I think. Yeah. Um... So yeah, anyway, after 2016, and it, obviously at the end of 2016, he was crying and it felt quite real. You did feel quite bad for him, you know. There was some bits where 16-year-old me burst into laughter when he said, look, it was quite serious and you feel bad for him. But then he said, Gareth came up to me and he said, he said, go on, smell him. It was, I know that nectar anywhere. No, he said, fish fingers, smell him. <laughs> I know that nectar anywhere. It was Michelle. <laughs> And then he stopped it. And obviously, you feel really bad for him for Mo. I feel bad for him now, to be fair. It's not nice that Gareth did this to him. But um, at the end of the day, Callum got over it and he grew a lot as a person, you know, which you got to respect his ability to come back and how he's not scared to be real on camera. Um, what else was really weird? Oh, yeah, he said, it's fine, Gareth. If you want your bottom finger, go ahead, my son. <laughs> I was going to say, that whole Michelle saga is so funny. Yeah, it was hilarious. I mean, Michelle did, sounds like an absolute loon. Did you see all, all the parts of the videos where um, he said that she, she was hanging outside of his house and they were playing Tic Tac business like all morning for days, apparently? Weird. And there's Weird other stuff where, where he said he broke into Gareth's garden and smeared all of his vegetables with poo. It's just like, you can't you can't make this up. That's what's so amazing about Callum's Corner. No other YouTuber has done anything this weird. And if they have, you can tell it's an act. It's like Gregory's goals. You know that he's acting. You know that he's playing a character. Not me and you as well. Me or you, if we tried to say, hey, up and welcome to James's Junction or welcome to Aaron's Anus. I don't know. Oh, it's <laughs> you know? Sanjay's alcove, isn't it? The other one in the streams. Uh, just, you know what I mean, though? Like, yeah. with a lot of people, you can tell that they'd fake it. But Callum, it feels very real. But anyway, let's move to 2017 and 18. Well, he basically acts like he does now. There's not much character change. Well, not character change, but like, obviously he says when he first started, he was quite timid. Um, but he's like, oh, hello, hello, how's it going? And he's like more fast talking and his rages are a lot more like realistic, but they're just so funny. The rages are a lot like real life. Like when you sit on the bus and some fatty sits next to you and you get hoists herself, you know, and like stuff like his sister and his mom. The bit when he said, the lead up to some of these are amazing. Like when he said, and my family burst into laughter like the bloody, no, 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 like the bloody bitches of East Week, the two of them. Like I love the head movement. He like went right into the camera. That made it funnier. Two of them just bloody creasing up. And then he's like, bit of bold egg stuck in my beard. Not just white yolk at all. And it's like, he just takes them so far. What else was really great? When he said, what have you sent any, this was like a calm, aggressive one when he's like, oh. what have you sent? I think this was 2016. I've been trying to do good business with JumboTube. And one of you sent an email, one of you sent a complaint in saying, I suck off dogs for quavers. How does that make me look? <laughs> oh. I mean, I was going to say, like, oh. e even after like a month after him like blowing up in like August, September ish, and it, uh, of 2016, even in 2017, um, his content was getting way better because. 2017, he was pumping out like some pretty good videos, wasn't he? Like vlogs and yeah, yeah, weird vlogs, hilarious rages. Um, you got to respect Callum though because he's got in he he got to 100k just by using a potato phone. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, I mean, obviously, well, I know me and you have said it before in private, but it doesn't matter if you have a £150,000 setup or whatever, or a five quid phone, you can still make videos, you know. Yeah, if, if you're an interesting enough person, or if you make something, you know, that appeals to the people, then yeah, you can do whatever you want, can't you? You know. To a, if you want to break the barriers, you do have to make things good, though, which he has done over the years with his recent couple of videos that Tom Stock has been editing. He really has pushed the boundaries. It's not nothing professional, but it's really good for it, what he's going for. So, Yeah. Um, I was going to say as well, in 2017, is that when he started streaming? I mean, I know he was live uh, streaming on Facebook before. But... He, he probably, because he did stream at first for ages, and his last one was when him, he was in a hot tub on holiday with Tom Stockdale. And um, but after that, he did it so like people could play music in the live stream, so he couldn't upload them afterwards. But yeah, you can still find his really old streams out there, and they're quite funny. I mean, his old face ones are so funny. He goes around doxing people. It doesn't do it on purpose because on Facebook, oh, accidental. It's like your name, so he'll read out your name, and then this one guy said he wants to come out to his parents as being gay or something. But he said, "I want to remain anonymous," and he said, "Oh," because he'd read his name out. I was like, "Well, um, I think that's your issue now." <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, that's horrible that's so mean but like did he say he wanted to be anonymous at first but then he read his name out or did he read his name out without looking at the anonymous bit um well he read he said oh this is a message from i think his name was like, i don't want to say his name it's like jake something or james something and he's and he read out his full name and then read the message and at the end it said i want to be anonymous and he went oh and well he should have th- he should have put anonymous first and that is his issue yeah I mean, at the time, it was going to be broadcast to, what, like, 30 people, so no one would really yeah, care. Yeah. But now, there's, like, about 50,000 views on that video, so... Ooh. Oh, well, so, it doesn't matter. Hopefully, he's came out and his parents are all right with it and whatever. He can just do what he wants. I mean, no one's bothered, are they? No one, you know, people can do what they want as long as they're not hurting anyone. Yeah. But, um... Yeah. Um, another point I was going to bring up, though, is, like... He did quite a lot of good challenges over the years, you know, and they felt quite fresh. Like the, the sleeping challenge was really good. Don't sleep for ages. His food reviews are quite funny when he went, I swear in some of them he vent though. He was like, I've had enough of this week. I'm going to smash Gav's back doors in. Or was that on the night na- video about his neighbor? Um, um, I can't remember. There was one. Oh yeah. Do you want to talk about a few um, sagas? If you can't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, we seem to be jumping around all over the place. Do you want to talk about some sagas? Yeah, yeah, let's talk about his rivalries now. So him versus Afghan Dan and Will Any. I felt like Callum sort of won it because he just, he'd, I'm not knocking him, but like with him, it's, he really rises his ego up, doesn't he? He's like, I'm such an alpha male. I'm six foot five. How can you mock me? And obviously he did a Twitter video saying, that's it. I've had it. Afghan Dan and Will and E, you've had it. You've done it now. I'm coming for both of you. This is down to Chinatown. And then he made a silly video going, that's not my name, in a park. And it's like, a part of me feels like he's totally won it because he doesn't care at all, does he? He's not bothered. He just keeps pumping his ego and saying, I'm great, I'm great, and whatever. And even though he does get angry with some of it, like, you sort of feel like he's won because nothing stops him from thinking any different. Like, he's the man, he's the alpha male. But Will and he and Afghan Dan probably got, like, annoyed at him, you know, and thought, oh, whatever. And Will and he ended up bending the knee. <laughs> he ended yeah. up saying he's the king of the north. So Callum won. If you get Will and he to proclaim you the king in the north, even though he's from Bristol, well, he was originally from the north, even though he now lives in the Isle of Wight. So that makes him, as Will and he said, practically Spanish to northerners. But, you know, Callum's still the king. So he technically won that, in my opinion. Um, what I do mean, you think, though, before we move on to the next beef? Um, I mean, yeah, the Afghan land stuff. I, I mean, at the end, obviously, Callum won, because where's Afghan land now? Yeah, he's just in the toilet. And will any, I'm not knocking him, but he is he's up there with the YouTube elite. He's, not, Callum, he's way above Callum's corner. But... Callum's corner's hitting his peak. Will and he sort of been there and now he's sort of like on the downgrade because his videos, they get more views than Callum's, but they're not really as unique as they used to be because everyone just takes the mick out of other YouTubers now. So it's not like anything special. I mean, the stuff with uh, Will as well. I, I just think, um, I mean, obviously back in the day he was using anyone for views, but yeah, now, yeah, yeah. but he doesn't seem to have much fun, whereas Callum, his whole life seems Callum's loving fun. it. Yeah, yeah. Callum saying, remember, he even said thank you so much for making this my life now because I just absolutely love it. It's so fun to be able to do this as a job. Will any isn't that appreciative. All he's bothered about is like beating Jill in the subscriber count. 
which that like, isn't really hard to do because she rarely uploads. If you aim for more, because then I'd respect you a bit more, <laughs> you know. But that's near impossible because he's got like about twenty million bloody te- young teenagers backing him up, so or kids or whatever. I don't know who watches him. I was going to say I don't know if you're going to mention it next, but did you want to include the true Geordie in the will anything? Because he came. He had a weird beef the with the true Geordie, didn't he? He was like. The bloody true Geordie, what's he going on about? But I didn't really understand this. I didn't even know who the true Geordie was back then. I wish I did because Geordie's a legend, but like, you know. I think he was basically saying that um, because obviously he's from Newcastle, the true Geordie, he was saying he's the king in the north. He named himself that on Twitter and um, Calum didn't like it. And then that's when he went on about the true Geordie's manicured beard and said, Who is it? He, he, he's not an alpha male. He, he's, he's got a manicured beard. He probably has his nails done. It was, it was, <laughs> It's just like random stuff like that. No, but that's what I love about Callum's corner. He's like as mad as Tyson Fury, and he used to sound like Tyson Fury when he was like timid. He just, Tyson Fury just says like random crazy stuff. I mean, he showed up to the this Klitschko press conference dressed as like Batman wrestling the Joker. Like Callum is that crazy, but like obviously not as witty as Tyson Fury. Fury's more calculated with his madness, while Callum's just off the rail and does whatever he wants. But um, yeah, and I think it just sort of ended when. Um... Because I think Callum called him out for a fight or something, and then Trudeau's, or was it Trudeau oh. called him out for a fight? I'd, I'd imagine Callum would, because let's be real, Geordie had snapped this bloke in half. I'm not being mean to Callum. There are people out there who say, oh, well, I'm built properly for like speed because I'm skinny, I'm faster, but it's like, that works when you're against someone you weight, fair enough, or someone who's a fat blob, but Geordie'd absolutely flatten you, mate. I'm sorry, he would flatten you. Uh, the only chance Callum would have is if he ran off. That's the only chance. Yeah, um, just trying to think, was there any other drama? Yeah, there, there, was, there was, there was, there was. There was a Dylan Brewer who I knew nothing about. I just watched the, um, get your JSA, you know. <laughs> that was amazing. That was a great diss. And Stephen Tries, he absolutely flattened Stephen Tries. As much as Stephen Tries is an absolute legend and his gang are amazing, um, he, he flattened him with those bars. Stephen's bars are okay, but it, all the Stephen Tries bars were, well, as Callum's Corner said, it was just, you know, flashing his money, you know, flashing his fat stacks in a crap diss track, as Callum said, and just calling Callum a nonce or saying he's irrelevant. That's literally all Stephen said. But Callum went after about a million different things and went after his 0161 phrase and all that cool stuff. 0161 Stephen tries, you know, and all that cool stuff. I was going to say... The video, oh. the vid- sorry, the video was done a lot better because there's, like, different locations. There's those weird... There's, he filmed those, like, near those apartments in Birmingham... Then he filmed at the top of an apartment when, you know, and then they had them two dancing and their moves were quite good, you know. So it was, he just flattened him, flattened him. I was going to say, I don't think we've mentioned the original saga, the, the Gareth slash Michelle one. That oh. started the whole channel off. Really, um, I don't really remember loads about it. Michelle wanted to finger Callum's bottom. <laughs> Callum said, no, thank you. Gareth let her finger him. And then the rest is history. I mean, oh, wait, smeared poo on it. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't going to say that was the original. I was going to say the, the longest standing one, actually. Sorry. Oh, him and his sister? Yeah, him and his sister. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Let's talk a bit about that then. His sister's always been mean to him. I think she pulled his hair. So Callum, like, when he was four years old, he this is what Callum said, that he'd pull one of his balls a little bit or something. He'd pull, one, he'd, he'd pull his sack a bit to calm himself down. Um. Really, really weird to mention that I remember that, but apparently she's really stressed him out and his mum stressed him out as well. Um, his kids kept calling him Tic Tac and his mum kept humming. Um, <laughs> Tic Tac better get back in his box. So, I mean, it's not very nice when the whole world's calling you Tic Tac and then his mum's taking the piss as well. But at the end of the day, there are two sides to every story, but his family sound like... If anyone thinks Callum's weird, his family sound even weirder. Mind you, though, Callum, when he was like 38, didn't he like fart in his sister's face? And he made a real, he said, I made a musical fart from my ass. Oh, yeah, he farted on the face in the holiday, slapped it, and not, he said, Not on, bloody. In. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, like farted in I his hand. I hope he didn't actually it. sit on her. I hope he didn't sit on her. That's a bit, uh, yeah. I, I was going to say as well, in Callum's Corner's family, that it's really weird because he's always hinted at the fact that his mom is mental. Because he said that his mom used to hide, or she did hide, um, I don't know what, there were some biscuits under sugar. Oh. And said that she used to laugh her head off. And then she used to chuck things at him and do all these really weird things. As well as the fact that he said he locked her in the house. 
Yeah, really it's bizarre. really weird. It's like, and they interrupted him recording a lot of his videos as well. <clears throat> so that's a bit of a hindrance in it. That's a bit annoying. Yeah. Um, Do you want what... to talk about the YTP stuff as well then? Oh yeah, we got to mention YTPs if. Uh... So, um, meme reviews at first, it felt like a treat when he talk about like a meme review. You know, it felt like a real treat because he wouldn't do it that often. They were hilarious. Him reacting to it because obviously. A lot of people who react to things, especially YTPs, usually younger people. You never get someone who's nearly 40 and, like, is a little bit odd compared to, like, you know, what you consider a regular person. How Like, a regular person, I'm not knocking anyone, you know, uh, we as a society come up with what's normal, you know, and that it's just a social structure, normality. But the average person, if they were called a Tic Tac on Facebook, would probably tell someone to do one or like ignore it. They wouldn't put a, do a video where they film themselves really close and say, I am not a sod in Tic Tac. And then try and contact Tic Tac. Remember when he said, Tic Tac, you can work with me. Get in touch with me. And then he said, I'll shoot Tic Tacs out my ass. This is my ultimatum. I'm getting an army of Callums. I just wanted to bring that up. But anyway, it felt like a treat, but then eventually his meme reviews just became all like YTPs. I mean, I know me and you've mentioned it before in the other one about how in in his meme reviews, when he does review YTPs, it's the same people. Over and over and over again, yeah. yeah. Ridiculous. It's like, he says in some of them, like the most recent meme review, let's be real. The, what, who was it who did that one where he's fighting Tesco with the toasters? Oh, um... I can't remember who did it, yeah. but the point is that one was really well done. That deserves clout. And the one Funky Dinosaur did, I think Funky, again, we've said it every time we brought him up. It's good that he came on the podcast and I respect him, but I think Funky takes it way too far with some of this stuff. We like the racist stuff and like the slant, saying horrible things about certain people's religions. I'm not, I'm not trying to be an SJW lunatic, but he takes it way too far and says some mean stuff. And um, I mean, he put on EDL and can't about to edit it out. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean. You know, putting those crazy skinheads on there, it's just like I just I just think he takes it way too far. I don't I think Callum should also be trying to build new people up as well, instead of just reacting to the same people, you know. Constantly. Some YTPs have a lot of effort in put into them, but some of them are like don't really take that much, do they? And I just wish he'd actually, you know, give other people credit rather than keeping the same people where they are all the time. I mean, he, he gave loads of credit to the condescender first, but now it's just the same people. Funky, Toss Park goes on about him all the time. Pato Pasta, and um, I don't know. It's uh, just pa like... Uh, Papa's Mimari, isn't it? He always Papa's Mimari. And um, all the YTPs just seem to be the same. They're either really good, like that Tesco one, or they make him say really funny stuff, or it's just over-the-top disgusting stuff. I hate the stuff with Eddie in as well, making Callum out to be like that. He'd have it away with Eddie. That was absolutely horrible. I'm not trying to sound like a weirdo like Callum, but like I get that it's meant to be a joke, but there's nothing funny about saying that Callum's going to, you know, force himself on his four-year-old nephew. That's absolutely disgusting. I don't see the point of that, but... Hey ho, it's it is just meant to be a joke. And if Callum really doesn't like it, then he shouldn't watch it, should he? He should just ignore it. You know, he should just shouldn't give it attention. I mean, I don't really want to mention the the drama that's happening in the Callum's corner community, but he did build up Sips, didn't he? Like a lot, and then look what yeah. Sips has done. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it, I'm not I'm not saying Callum controls Sips. I'm just saying like he's built him up. <clears throat> Six is the most he has got the most notoriety at in the Callum's Corner community. Callum did give him a load of, you know, clout. I mean, Callum's Corner is basically Sips channel. Sips doesn't do any original content. It's all Callum's Corner stuff. So, I mean, you got to think to yourself, if Callum's Corner said I'm not doing any more videos, Sips wouldn't get many views anymore, would he? That's the way you got to see it. Sips isn't doing any original content, is he? So, essentially, yeah, Callum's Corner did make Sips yeah, I mean, um, yeah, it's, it's just weird, though, because there are, I mean, it's not all just YTPs. It's people who, like, used to call Callum out back in the day. They just try and build. I know, obviously, everyone on YouTube does it, try to build their careers off Callum, I guess. I mean, we're technically doing it right now. We're talking about him, but, you know. Yeah, but we're doing it because we're passionate about it. We're not expecting him to sit there and react to it and then link us in the description for some videos. You know, we're not expecting that. We, we're just getting it out there because it's an interesting topic. Yeah, I mean, I'm not having a go at Callum at all, but it's like a point you mentioned about how he's a bit out of touch because of his age. and Yeah, and which I he mean, can't help. 
You really can't help that, though. I mean, I think some people do sort of take advantage of that in a way. Like the way yeah. they'll they'll like ask him to shout out people, or they'll make him do something in a video that he doesn't know what, like in a way to be that he doesn't really know. Um, it just seems like they're just trying to push Callum to the edge to see to get a bigger reaction to then get more views. I mean, if you get more views, fair enough, but you know you can't do it forever. Exactly. Eventually, as much as I, I personally think he's going to keep up YouTube till he. Maybe till he's like a really old man, till he's like 60 odd, or maybe even till he's 70, I reckon, because he loves it so much. Um, but who knows that will YouTube be here in like when in like 30 years? We don't, I reckon it will, because you got to remember there's like loads and loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of videos being pumped out all the time. So you'd imagine that they'd be able to keep it going. Yeah. Uh... Oh. oh, you're right, James. Pardon? Oh, wait, I, I thought something happened on your end then. Yeah, yeah, my mic ran out of charge, but I'm still keeping it in to look professional, so... Oh, um, but yeah, what were you saying? Oh, about the YTPs. Um, did you hear yeah. what I was saying, or did it totally cut out? No, no, I heard what you're saying. Oh, cool. Just saying about the YTPs as well, the ones at the start, like, oh, I'm not trying to be weird, but the condescender, these, these ones weren't really that bad, I don't think. I think it's just because Callum... That Cam post. got on really easily and quick and he didn't understand them. Yes, yeah, because he was just unaware of what a YTP was. If he watched like a modern day Funky Dinosaur one back in the day, it, Funky Dinosaur would be what the condescender is. Pretty much, yeah. But like with channels, you do have to, you can't just rely on one person. You have to be able to make other types of videos. You know, that's the way I see it anyway. Yeah. Do you want to uh, go on to his streaming then? Like his streams? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, with Callum's Corner streams, I started off at first, you know, he was able to upload them to YouTube, but then afterwards he had music played in him and loads of people donating. And um, a lot of it's just the same crap over and over and over again. He does say funny stuff in him and they are entertaining, but it's just people paying him five quid to spam hateful slurs or, like, spam video. I find the ones funny. Like, there was this one where you, you see him reacting to weird videos and it's just like this mouth going, me, 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 me. And then it's like an ear rape. And then it's just like, you know, blasting through. And it's like, oh! And he's like really shocked. It's just quite funny when he does stuff like that. But um, when it's just spamming hateful slurs and he has to turn it off really quick, I don't really like that, you know. And when they're pranking him to say stupid stuff, I don't like that neither. And I, I find some of, some things when they like make weird situations, like they say, Callum's Corner, lick my ass or whatever, in the text of voice or whatever, that's kind of funny because he gets really confused and he has to keep confirming stuff to people all the time. Like, no, I'm not gay. No, no, I wouldn't do that. No, no. No, those aren't my political views. No, 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 no. All the time he has to keep confirming it over and over and over and over and over again. So. Um, but yeah, I think we're streaming. Um, obviously, he does make a lot of money, doesn't he, off it? 100%. It didn't, he say, I swear he said once it's like 100 quid a stream. And the reason why he can make so much money without being a Twitch partner or any of that malarkey is because people just give him money to troll him. So it's money for our rope. It's just easy money for him, really. All he has to do is get trolled by people and talk about stuff. I mean, I know that he has said before, if he does skip your song and if it's racist over, you can just request a refund and he'll just give him straight back. True. Yeah, true. But he still, he's, I reckon he still makes good bu good books from it. He, ma he still makes good money. Makes a few bob. I mean, some people donate like, £100 a stream, don't they? Bloody that like, hell. There's that one guy who did £700. Ages ago. He didn't refund it or anything? Or no, give half. I think he did end up refunding it because he said he didn't want to take that much, but someone did give him 700 back in the day. Yeah, I mean, the way I see it, as much as it's a bit bad to take off people, if they're giving me the money, you might as well take it, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> or give half back, I don't know. Um, but at least he's got seven a lot of honour. At least yeah. he's got a lot of respect. Yeah. I was going to say, though, it felt like in recent times, Twitch has sort of taken over his main videos. I know partly the reason he couldn't upload stuff was because um, he was moving to the Isle of Wight and it was a bit difficult for him. But he still kept pumping out loads of Twitch streams and obviously he's been banned off Twitch now for something he did. Apparently it wasn't... I reckon the algorithm got mixed up with one of his... one of the horrible things that was said. Or maybe they made Callum say something horrible. Like, they played a YTP and they made Callum say something horrible, so the algorithm mistaked it for Callum. And that's why he got banned off Twitch. But he's streaming on YouTube. And with streaming, I mean, Twitch is the best platform. But, like, YouTube, there's less competition. So you might as well start on there if you want. 
and um, Callum's Corner, don't blame him for just streaming on YouTube after Twitch banned him. And, you know, it's just easier to watch him on there because it comes up in your notifications. So I know Twitch gives you notifications, but there's just so much stuff on Twitch. It's just... The only like sort of bad thing is is if he's if he gets called out for something on the live stream, that means his YouTube channel is going to go down. Which, oh, I mean, I, I mean, obviously, if it's something that's not really that bad, but it still breaks like some rule, or whatever, he won't be able to stream for ninety days. So, um, oh, that is a hard one. That is a hard one. But you got to think to yourself, if that did happen, he just start a new channel. Hopefully, I mean, personally. I mean, I, yeah. I think he'll end up streaming on Facebook, like on his if he gets... corner page. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what he should do if that happened, just stop text to voice or stop certain words from coming through. Um, you know, just keep typing in the words that you don't. So I don't know how this works, but do you type in loads of words that you don't want to be on text to voice? Yeah, there's like a ban list of words, and if it's in, if it's got a word in your donation or whatever, um, you just won't play it. Well, that's, that's what he needs to do then because you don't want to be getting your channel terminated just because of some idiot saying something stupid. Because the bigger he gets, the more eyes he has him, on him, the more chance that he can get in big trouble for it. But as you said at first, it'll be a 90-day ban and then he'll just ban people from saying those things. So, Yeah, I mean, um, I do sort of think he does it for a bit of attention now and then. Like he'll, he'll let the same songs play over and over and say that he doesn't know what they are and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you've noticed it, but like, you know, when you hear the first bit of a song, like, do you think, oh, it's this song that he always gets played? And mm -hmm. for some reason, he doesn't recognise it. It's really weird. <laughs> weird. I mean, you know, um, yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, do you want to talk about his second channel quickly? Then we'll go on to like his latest content. Oh, yeah, what's it called? Is it Callum Does the Internet? Callum Does the Internet. At first, it was called something else. He did some BG Media reviews, which are kind of funny. Um, oh, it used to be called TikToks, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. BG Media reviews. He just reacts to silly memes, and it's, it was quite funny when he was thrown up at the hair cake. That was hilarious. Oh, the funniest part, I know it sounds really random, but it's, but it's when... Was it when iDubbbz kissed Max Murphy? I went, ooh, that was quite passionate. <laughs> He said, that, 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 but that made me question them. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Callum, I don't, I don't think Callum understands the edgy humour. I think anyone over like 35 would definitely think Idubs and Frank were gay or bisexual or whatever. But it's just, it's just the edgy meme humour, isn't it? Like, I wouldn't passionately kiss a bloke on camera. That's a bit bizarre. But if you like Idubs and Frank, they've got balls and nerves of steel. They don't care what they do. You know, they're, they're just absolutely insanely ballsy, you know, so. I mean, there's being confident in yourself and then there's Buddy. I mean, imagine if he just shagged Filthy Frank on camera. Oh, I'm just confident in myself. Ooh, ooh, you know. It's one of those weird <laughs> Someone's going to clip that. Someone's going to give it. Oh. I going to say, it's one of those weird things. It's like, it's, it's, my intent is not gay, therefore it's not. <laughs> yeah, that's like one of the weirdest things ever. Like, you, I sent you a video on this bloke saying, it's about the intention, like this American geezer was saying, like, it's about the intention, you know, I'd suck a dude off, it's just about the intention. <laughs> it's the weirdest logic ever, it's fine if you do want to do that, that's fine, but like, as long as you're not forcing yourself on anyone, you know, it's whatever, as I said, but like, come on, you can't just say it's intention stuff all the time. It was, I thought it was a bit bizarre when Callum's Corner did a gay smash or pass, that was a bit oh, weird. Oh, the, the David Cameron part was so weird. Yeah. Uh, it's like smash, smash, smashing, <laughs> smashing his back doors, bam, 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 and it's like you know. Again, nothing wrong if Callum's corner does want to um, smash him, but you know, which he obviously doesn't. But um, yeah, it's a bit weird that he did a um, a gay one. I suppose it's just like being able to tell, like, oh yeah, Elvis is a. All the ladies love El loved Elvis. He's a fairly good-looking bloke. He gets a smash. But like, there was Callum's corner made it so funny because he was going on about. Maybe me and Conor McGregor would do some wrestling and one of us would be the dominant one. It's like, you, you don't know anything about McGregor. He wouldn't be down for any <laughs> wrestling intimately <laughs> with a uh, bloke. I mean, on the videos that you think oh. most, most people would hate doing, he does still put in the effort, which is fair play to him. He does, which is quite funny. I guess it would be boring if he just said, good looking bloke, smash. The ladies love him, smash. Ladies love him, oh. They don't, the ladies don't love him, not pass. 
I mean, there's one video I've actually got saved of, oh, what was he doing? Oh, he's doing voiceovers of different YouTubers. It was when he got uploaded to Pornhub. Remember all that? Oh, yeah, that was another weird thing. Yeah. He... Like, Why am I on Pornhub? That was one of the, no, Van November's been ruined! It's not one of the funniest things ever. He, he, I he saw ba- my mate porn, and I had to do what coming uh, naturally. He basically made this video of him. He got, like, clips of other YouTubers, and he did, like, an impersonation of them. Pretending that they were on there. Oh, it's re- I, I, I actually saved the video when it came out. You got rid of the video now, then. Yeah, you got rid of it, but I've saved it. So, because so, oh, at the time I thought, maybe you could go after it. At the time I thought, yeah, this is going to get deleted. So I just thought I might as well save this. Maybe we could go over it then one day. Um, so yeah, let's talk about his latest videos quickly, then. I think we can wrap it up. Uh, yeah. If you want. So, with his latest video, I thought the house tour was just going to be a load of boring crap, but he actually made it quite hilarious. Some bits were a bit bizarre, like, he did still give you a house tour, but then he did, like, a first-person view of what it would be like to be a lady in his house, and he filmed his room, and he said, looky, looky, you, looky, looky, you, and it's like, (laughs) it's just unreal, you've made it to the master bedroom, you know. I was going to mention as well, um, I was going to mention actually before, about in his videos, you can tell that he says some things just for people to meme it. Yeah, yeah, he's doing things intentionally, and he, you know. I mean, the, the way he like goes into like graphic detail about stuff, and he'll like pause. It's really weird. It's almost like he wants people to sort of cut this part of the video up. He probably knows that it's going to get more liked out. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, the funniest part of that video was when, um, well, I thought it was when the door opened, and he went, oh, hello. They just popped his head round. That was hilarious. <laughs> it's like, this is really weird. Um, but yeah, his video was really amped up. The editing was good because Tom Stockdale did it for him. Um, overall, just a crap ton of fun to watch. Really enjoyed it. Really entertained. It's good that he's moving down. He's moved down there so he can get away from stuff. I was slightly worried, though, because I know the Isle of Wight's a big place. There's 100,000 people. And he doesn't just rely on his mom and sister f- to annoy him. But, like, now that he's, you know, in a very laid-back area compared to Bristol, like, he's going to struggle for rage videos. But I suppose he can do other types of content, like challenges and funny stuff. And there'll be some things that annoy him sometimes. He, again, when he lived with his mom and his, his sister, he did go for ages without getting annoyed. So he can, he can still make funny rage videos, you know, so it doesn't really matter too much. And he can still be funny when he's being weird and quirky, can't he? So. Yeah, I mean... Um... I think in the future, definitely, he's, he's going to be hopefully more of like a chill person or, and whatever, because he doesn't care about subs. Because, like what Callum said, if he wanted to gain subs, he'd just have to talk about his head every video. But, um, yeah, 100%. He just loves doing it because he does it. And obviously, as long as he's making an okay living, he doesn't really care, does he? I mean, he's bought a house in the Isle of Wight. He's got to be on at least 30k now a year, I reckon. Yeah, I mean, I don't. does he have a job down there? I don't want to dox him or anything, but. Um, he said ages ago, he was working while he was doing YouTube when he wasn't earning too much, but it was a good extra little bit of income. Then he was working part time and now it seems like he's not working anymore. So. All right. That's yeah. I guess it's just, um, he's doing what he wants. It's just if he can keep it up because he doesn't want to get loads of money from the stream. So I was going to say, he doesn't want to be in a cycle of having to rage to get money to rage to get money he doesn't want to be in one of them sort of cycles exactly exactly because then that's when he'll end up leaving youtube if he's like that he'll just give up money and he'll get a normal job but um yeah what did you think of his his latest meme review though i know we talked about it earlier but that was so funny when he was like it was the bit when he said get in touch with me touch me it's like and he got so annoyed he was like ah oh. It's like he reacts to every little bit and bob, bits and bobs of like the um, Callum's Corner videos, you know. Um, I, 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 did, I did watch it. I just can't remember too much about it, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Um, but as I say, with the meme reviews, though, I just hate when they bring up Eddie, Elliot, Roger, extremist nonsense, um, making fun of groups of people. I just hate it when they do that because it's just taking it too far. You know, you need to, you need to be witty to like make it funny. And by extremist nonsense, I mean like you know, like pe like you know people getting joking about people getting killed and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean ones that are like obviously there's a very fine line, but some that are like so stupid that yeah, you can find it funny. I think they're, yeah, right, yeah. they're right, but ones that are saying like Callum breaks into someone's house and like 
kills someone and murders them. Yeah, like, yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible. Because I, I know, obviously, people do know it's YTP, but potentially someone... I know Callum has said it before, but potentially someone could think it's, it's him. Mm-hmm. Like, it, 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 if they got rid of the audio... If they just got rid of the video, the audio could sort of sound like him, I guess. But yeah, it's just if someone wasn't really aware, really aware of what a YTP was. Yeah, hundred percent, man. You know, some idiots might believe it, so it's um, it can be dangerous sometimes. But if it gets too much, Callum would just have to stop watching them and stop doing them. You know, I felt yeah. like the most yeah. me- recent meme review was the best one. It hadn't been as good as that in ages. You know, I do think it's better when they are. Longer, but and he but yeah. he covers shorter videos because it, like you yeah, said, yeah. the Funky Dinos one that was over five minutes. He said, "What what are you doing with your life? You know, why is yeah. it all about me?" Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. I mean, YTP is a lot of people give up YTP because it just gets a bit repetitive eventually. And you, do you really want your legacy on YouTube to just be rewinding someone and mixing up their words and all that crap, or do you want your legacy to actually be like saying enticing, interesting things and? make people, you know, feel like they're a part of something and, I don't know, entertain people? Would you or do something creative? Because anyone, anyone can make a YTP. Like, it doesn't... Some of them take a lot of editing, like that Tesco toaster one that was quite good, but, like, some of them, it's just rewinding stuff and mixing up words. I, I know we've done YTPs, but it's not like our whole channel is... We, it's not like we're just spamming out YTPs constantly, you know? I was going to say that, because although I've made YTPs, and you've made some as well... Um, I've made one, but yeah. Oh, I thought you made more than one. Um, no, no, just one. Although we've made some, they're not what we do all the time. We just do them like now and then for a bit of a laugh. It's just for a bit of fun, you know. I thought to myself, will Callum, Callum react to him? But obviously, um, he clearly hasn't, has he? So, he I mean, reacts to the same people. I mean, the thing is, let's say if Callum stopped doing videos tomorrow, we've still got content to do. Cause yeah, we yeah, we, we know a crap ton about like loads of different topics and interests. We can talk about films, telly, um, YouTube stuff. I know stuff about MMA. You know stuff about things. Um, boxing, uh, just general stuff, maybe a bit of philosophy. Um, yeah, you know, all sorts. But all they have is Callum's Corner, which is a bit of a shame. That's why if you're watching this YTPers, you know, or Callum's Corner people, branch out, make other stuff. Don't just make it about one thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Do you want to, um, I was going to say one last thing. I'm looking forward to his podcast. He did one podcast on his um, second channel and that was cool. So I hope he does more of them. Oh, the one with Tom Stockdale and... I can't remember the other bloke's name. Yeah, I I can picture him. I can't remember his name. But yeah, he said he's got a podcast table that he's going to bring people around to. Amazing. Awesome. Callum, if you ever watch this, mate, let us come on your podcast, lad. I'll have a great smashing conversation with you about who does he support, Blackburn Rovers. Yeah. I'll try and yeah. I'll research it because I'm trying to get into the football. I'll research a lot more about football. We can, me and Aaron can come down to the Isle of Wight. Screw it, we'll bring George as well. We'll sit around your table and have a massive conversation with you. Okay, I can't, can't see why you turn that down, but there you go. It's, it's one of the best offers of a lifetime, isn't it? Um, do you want to wrap it up there then? Or... Yeah, I can't can't really think of anything else. We've been going for a fair bit, actually. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, do you want to say anything for the end? or? Well, everyone, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Um, I think we should say that at the start of the video, really. Like and subscribe if you enjoy. Yeah, it always comes, it comes across a bit like, not baity, but it's just like, come on, like and subscribe yeah, yeah, before you've like... even seen anything. Honestly, I could care less about subs. People have said to me, always say like and subscribe in it. But I'd rather either say that at the end or not say it at all, you know. But I'd, mm, you sort of do want to grow, but you'd rather things be professional, don't, wouldn't you? You'd rather like actually make good stuff. Morgs and Mr. Beast, the massive, it doesn't mean their content's as good as on Andre, oh, this bloke who animates and talks about like, you know, um, YouTube drama. He's really talented. Forest Fire 101, um, a lot of animators on YouTube, um, a lot of podcasters, and some people who took reviewers, you know, and some people who talk about youtube stuff i guess um you know there's a lot of talent on there just because someone's successful doesn't mean that you know the people who aren't as successful aren't talented so yeah yeah uh yeah i can't think of anything else to say now so well have a good one everyone yeah. see right, you in the next one.